welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. And I think this video is just really gonna be like an honest, true, transparent video um, about 2022 and like my life lately. Um, it's I started this video in the evening. I have been working all day. I just got off of work. Um, Tyron and I are actually gonna go get a workout session in. Not an afternoon lifter. I'm really not a night lifter. So, if I had to lift and it was like 7.30, I don't know what was wrong with me. That's something I don't do anymore. Like I was saying, I want to give this video some type of direction. Kind of for myself, telling myself what this video will consist of. The next few days will consist of showing you guys and talking to you guys about is, one, we have a lot of home decor updates. Um, I really prioritized our environment in 2022. Because I told you guys, I've been feeling really foggy with everything. And the biggest thing is that I don't do anything. Like, especially since we moved to North Carolina, I have obviously left most of my friends in Connecticut. And that's that's been an adjustment. But at the same time, you're an adult. You, that's just kind of what you have to do. And not everyone's going to stay in their home city. Like, that's not where everyone's going to stay. So, but at the same time, it doesn't make it easier as time goes on. Like, if I need some type of social interaction, even though I'm working from home and I'm going to school from home. I'll be able to go see my friends, but that's not the case. I mean, FaceTime, thank God for that. But when it comes to social interaction, like getting brunch or lunch or something like that, that I want to do not with Tyron, because Tyron works out of the house. He, like, goes to a physical place and goes to work. So when I'm home by myself, like, it can be really, really rough sometimes. So that's something I want to show you guys that I've been, like, really prioritizing our environment and making it feel like more of a home. Actually, one of my 2022 goals is to create this home with Tyron and furnish it like furnishing a home makes it yours and that's what we're gonna do and we're for 2022 so I'm gonna show you some home decor updates and then um what else am I gonna talk about yeah that's basically what I want to show you guys in this video as well as talking about life lately and like how I'm feeling about 2022 it's positive but there's negatives and we're gonna talk about the negatives too so there's positives to it, there's negatives to it, and I want to be really transparent about that. And then we're just going to take you guys on the next few days or so. Again, my life is not crazy exciting because I work from home and stuff. I don't start school for another two and a half weeks. So even that stuff is not that exciting, school stuff. Like, it's not that exciting to, like, film and stuff. It's just me, like, writing a paper, doing research, reading. That's what I do when I'm a social worker. Like, you do a lot of reading and writing, so... um. But yeah, so that's kind of where I'm going to do. But I'm going to film this video because I felt like it was just like I need to just be transparent and stop trying to pretend like I'm anyone else on YouTube when I'm not on me. So here we are, bonnet and all, which you guys have seen my bonnet. So I'm never going to not have a bonnet on in a video. I love this sweater. Tyron gave it to me for Christmas. It's so comfy and cute and just like it's a nice work from home sweater. I actually have my hair up, but I need to wash my hair. So we're going to be doing that later after we get back from the gym. I have not washed my hair before Christmas. It is like January 5th. It is so bad. <laughs> like for me, I need to rinse my hair out at least once a week. Because the build up and then it shrinks. It's just so bad. So I guess I could show you guys like the stuff that I use for my hair. Which is not anything crazy. Because I learned that with my natural hair, little, the less is better. Less is better. Like, using too many products is too overwhelming. So, we're just going to shampoo it with my, um, I have, like, medical shampoo. Not medical shampoo, but, like, I'll show you guys when I go and do my hair. Because I realized that I have kind of, like, a fungal situation in my scalp. Like, something about my scalp. Most of my skin is bad, so I'm not surprised my scalp is, like, problematic. But, like, I could peel off, like, dandruff and, like, fungal stuff. And it's really disturbing. When I say that on camera, it sounds gross, but, like, that's just what it is. Like, I don't have the healthiest scalp, and it's not anything to do with me. Like, I'm not dirty or anything. Like, it's just, like, my skin is very problematic. So, I'll show you guys the products. Like, if anyone ever experienced that or needs, like, a really good cleaning shampoo to really soothe their scalp and medicate it, like, I'll show you that. Okay, guys. I am back. A lot has happened. So, I'm doing my skincare now because we are hungry. Working out at night, like, my body is definitely not, like, used to that. So, I've just kind of, like, been frantic tonight. 
for example, like when I came home, I was like, I don't even want to wash my hair because it's just, it's just so dirty. I hate when my hair is dirty. I can't work out properly. It gives me a headache because it's so naughty. Like, it's weird. So, long story short is I um, just decided to wash my hair, but like do really big twists because we're going to Texas in a few in a week and a half and so next week I really want to like I really want to like do a nice hairstyle so I was like you know what this week I really don't have anything that I need to do any type of hairstyle for so I just decided to like twist it like this like it doesn't even look good like it's sticking up but like at least my hair is clean and of course style it because I can't just walk out the shower and like put little products in it. I need to style my hair or it will shrink and look really bad and nappy. And so this is like basically done, but we're really stretching it here. Um, I just was like, okay, you know, we're going to just do a quick wash, start the food because we're starving and that's that. So proud of myself we did all that it's before eight o'clock too which is good because i need to be in bed by 10 30 because tomorrow i'm cycling i love me a good old cycling class so all right let's take you guys up so oh i forgot to show you guys the shampoo i promised i would do this hold on Babe, turn the oven, turn the stove off for me, please. Yes. So this is the shampoo I use. I picked this one up from Walmart. Is it focusing on this? Yeah. So this is the shampoo. I picked it up from Walmart. It's sulfur eight shampoo. And it literally says removes dandruff flakes, helps restore scalps, natural pH balance for all hair textures. Um, my mom has this um, oil and it was really good when I was using it. So I found it in shampoo version. I was like, I have to get it. This or Selsun Blue is really good for like my, that like scalp thing I was telling you guys that feels like it's like a fungal situation. Like I personally don't care for dermatologists. I'd rather go to an esthetician or find things like this at Walmart. Just a personal preference. I have trauma with dermatologists. I don't really care for them. Not saying anything's wrong with them, just what I want to do. I bought this massage scalp thing on Amazon, which I'll link below. And I'll link the Sulfur 8 on Amazon too below. And I just rub it like this to help get to my scalp. Because another reason why I really feel like I can't get to my scalp sometimes is because I have so much hair and it's thick. So I use this to help me. And then this is one of my favorite brands. Like, inexpensive really good like it really moisturizes my hair because i have really dry hair too it like sucks up everything i really need my ends trim that's probably another reason why i have a lot of dead ends i really need to like go get it straight and blown out and treated by someone but we just we're not there yet we're not there yet so this aussie moist the moist this avocado one is so good I literally just have a big tube of the conditioner just because this is a shampoo I use this does not really set up your hair a lot but personally it really does clean my scalp really well this shampoo is fire too I, I have that as well so that is what we use to like figure out like my hair and stuff I really just need to also find a natural hair stylist that really could help treat my hair properly like every few months or so but um we're not there yet like when we just moved to North Carolina still trying to find everybody I want to like go to and like budgeting what reasons I'm just not gonna go to a natural hair stylist right now at this moment um I'd rather go get braids honestly I would All right, I just need to put our sweater on. So after the gym, we had went to Trader Joe's and I just picked up a few stuff. I really want to do like avocado and toast and things like that because um, I used to love avocado and toast. I still do. I just haven't made it in a while. And like for lunch reasons and like just a quick snack for breakfast because sometimes for breakfast, I really just don't feel like cooking. And so it's just helpful. So we picked up a little bit of stuff for like breakfast and like a few lunches that we like because dinner, I got dinner. We always got dinner, but 
lunch and breakfast sometimes we just get really bored really quick so babe it's ready what do you want to play a bowl thanks for making my food the hunger is real. You want a pork? Yes, please. You a want big, a big one? Yes, please. Pause. Guys, I ran out of pasta sauce, so I like really like seasoned this pasta intensely. It's just um what is this again? What, what did I make? It's literally just beef and pasta. This is it. This is dinner right here. Mm-hmm. And spinach for our greens. We'll finish it by like 9.30. I just need to be in bed by 10.30. We're watching Fast 8. I've been like, I found the Fast 6, Fast 6, right? Fast, six, Fast and Furious 6 on HBO. And I love that movie. The only ones I don't like is the last one. N 9 is terrible. Don't watch 9. It was pointless. They should have just stopped at 8. And then I really want to watch 8 again. Yeah, That's the on. one. It's not on. Um, oh, yes. Three. He like turns against his team and it's just really good. Like I, it's actually pretty good. All right, we're gonna eat and dinner. My hole in my sock. <laughs> Things are, they're still so comfy though. <laughs> okay guys, Tyron's just massage. We finished Fast and Furious 8, which is called actually the Fate and Furious, actually, right? Fate, Furious, Fate and Furious, or Furious and Fate? Furious. And fate. Fate of the furious. I, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, Tyron just massaged my legs because I did a leg day on Tuesday, I believe. A really intense leg day. I'm like trying to get back into lifting and not just going to cycling. And Shadi's legs are really sore. Curly. But now, if y'all can see, they're of course shiny, but they're really red. Like he really did his thing. Like they That's still hyperemia. That's okay, babe. New blood. Okay. Brought to the surface of the legs. Got it. <laughs> His terms. But I'm going to head to bed. I don't know if Tyron's coming to bed with me. Let's see. Babe, are you coming to bed with me? I want to see what the boys are doing. I knew it. He's going to go play video games. Okay. So I always pick out my workout clothes before um, the night is over. Just so when I wake up in the morning, it's just less problematic for me. I just know what to do, where to go. So I'm just wearing a random top, tank top. These old Gymshark Flex leggings, these were one of the first leggings I got when I started my like, not when I started my gym journey, but like when I started getting into gym clothes. So they have a special place in my heart because they've grown with my body because I was really, really skinny in these. Like I have a throwback video and I like look at myself crazy all the time. Pick up my lotion. Good morning guys, it is literally like 6 a.m. We're heading to cycling. Um. And I'm just just getting ready. Something in my eyeball. I'm going to eat some raspberries. I'm not too hungry. That pasta last night and we had dessert was really filling. So I'm just using pre-workout. I always do a scoop and a half just because I've taken pre-workout for a very long time. And what it means. back from our cycling class it was really good um it was hard though because my legs are so sore from like lifting even after like i took a two-day break but we're back home i'm gonna shower because it's thursday i have work and so i don't start work for another 30 40 minutes um it's a good thing about getting the workout done it's like i don't have to start work so it's nice to have my exercising happening like my whatever i want to do like lifting or if I want to do cycling like before. All right, we're gonna go shower and get ready. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make a smoothie and I want to make avocado toast, but I just bought the avocados so none of them are ready, but that's really what I want. So I got this sourdough bread yesterday from Trader Joe's. Like everyone talks about it and I love sourdough bread. Have you ever had the What's it called? Let me turn it this way. Have y'all ever had the Panera bread bowl? Cause that bread bowl is good. That sourdough bread is good, y'all. Taking um 
this turmeric shot i love these shots from trader joe's they're really good they have ginger shots too and they're actually one of the most inexpensive shots because they're 199 definitely can make this but i don't have a juicer i broke it a while ago so let it focus on this that's this one um i prefer the turmeric one over ginger one your cute face yes oh Let me get the eye boogers out your eye. Oh, so sweet. You're so sweet. No. He's getting so big. Could you stop growing? Could you become a puppy again? Where you didn't eat your cage and destroy the whole house? So I just finished work. I'm tired. I was sweating upstairs. Like, I got hot. <laughs> the heat must have kicked in. But, um, I haven't started my last semester of grad school. If you guys don't know, I'm in grad school getting my master's in social work. And so, like, for example, I would feel guilty for laying on the couch right now because I probably would have something to do for school after work. Um, and I take next semester that starts in like two weeks. I start taking classes on Tuesdays only online, of course. And so, Right now, I'm trying to like, one of my other 2022 goals was to read one book a month, like a leisurely reading book, because like in school, I read for school and that's enough for me, educational mental stimulation. Um, and so I've been reading this book, I'll tell you guys, this book, I had this book since I think almost like August, July, I don't even remember it, but it's The Life Between Us, I feel like it was August. And I, brought, I think I brought this book to Mexico and I did not read it because we were out doing stuff. But it's so good. I am at part two, so I'm halfway through the book. It has gotten really good. So I think I may read for like an hour and then maybe watch TV, but I'm trying to like implement reading more. So guys it's the next day um i'm just i don't know why i'm so tired we're just gonna listen to our body today i feel very like a little nasally yeah i feel a little nasally today so i actually i'm a little worried about that but just be, i think i feel a little nasally because the weather has drastically changed here in north carolina like for Christmas and New Year's, it was like 70 degrees and cloudy, I swear. And then now it's like winter, it's like 29 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degrees. And I was like, what the heck? So, I literally just got up like, I didn't even put on any moisturizer yet on my face. Let's show you guys, um, before we go back upstairs, I'll show you guys some home decor updates. Um. So, it's not too messy in here right now, so that's good. So, the first thing we've added is this new entertainment stand. Um, right now, we have our TV, well, for the rest, we have our TV mounted. <clears throat> Sorry, told y'all my throat was just tripping. TV mounted, and we found this, I found this entertainment stand on Facebook Marketplace for $100. We love it. It, like, brings in the wood. I like that it contrasts with the gray toned woods um, on our floor. And I think it just really does fit in the place. When we got it, we were like, wow, this is a great, great find. And we love, I'm like all into this modern farmhouse vibe. So I really wanted like some type of a farmhouse entertainment stand. So I was really happy when we found it. I kind of wanted a fireplace, but to come in another video is that us decorating out there. I'm really excited about that. Hopefully to be decorated in the next few months since it will be getting warmer eventually. And, the, and now I feel like 
it makes our TV look small. This is a 55 inch TV, and I kind of feel like we need like a 60 or 70 right now, but that's okay. So then here, I finally, like this is the place that was really giving me like, I just hated it because there was so much garbage here. So, and I'll link everything below that I did not find on Facebook Marketplace. This, all these jars and stuff are from Target. The bin down there is from Target. The book is Homebody from Target by um, Joanna Gaines. And the knot is actually from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. What are the other? And I need to find, find some stuff to put into this basket just so it doesn't look so bland and bare. And I definitely want to get one more book to go on top. I feel like this knot is very, like if you go closer, it's very metallic-y gold. And we actually really like it. It like pops out because this homebody book is gold. And yeah, and the accent color we're having in here is gold. I thought it was gonna be like black or white or something, but it's it's actually not. Like we're gonna do gold. So yeah, that's another thing. And then here we have this coffee table that we found on Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna probably recover it. Um, got this coffee table for $50. Coffee tables right now, guys, I don't know if you're doing home decor shopping like me. It's, they pricey. Like, they just changed up the game. Hold on, it's not it's supposed to kind of go like that. Okay, wait, hold on. There we go. And they've been just changing up the game with coffee tables. Like, I don't know. So we, I just was determined to find a coffee table on Facebook Marketplace because it wasn't it. So right now, all we have is this bowl that I had found from Target in our previous apartment back in Connecticut. Um, I got these coasters, which ties in really well with all the different types of wood. These, these coasters from Amazon, so I'll link those below. This coffee table was actually, I was able to find it. It's from Walmart. Um, and it's originally like 170 on sale right now for 120 so definitely got it for $50. That's literally like less than the original price by half. It's like 70% off, literally. There is a slight chip in it, but that's okay because it's a marble cover. And like we could re easily, like once I do a DIY, I could easily like just recover it with like a marble. Um, oh, sorry, buddy. Here. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but like that marble cover, like you could decorate your desk or whatever, recover it. And on this really big wall, we're going to do a gallery wall and take all these snowflakes down. Haven't gotten there yet. Um, and maybe like in February or so, because we have stuff happening next week and we're just going to be busy. So not really want to spend money on a gallery wall right now. So. so that's like the biggest updates. And there's one in when I go upstairs, I'll show you guys the one in the bathroom. So, hi everyone. It is much, much later in the day, as you can see. It's dark, and so much has been <laughs> happening today to the point that I didn't even pick up the camera. Like I said, I was gonna do my lunch break. It's obviously like the end of the work day. Where work is finished and everything, and on lunch, I really, really wanted to get sushi. And Tyron, we have one car right now because Tyron's car needs to be fixed and stuff, and we're, um, we're trying to find a mechanic down here. Now. I'm gonna continue the sushi story then tell you what Harley did. So I really wanted sushi because sushi reminds me of home, like getting sushi with my friends. And one of my friends were like, oh, she's gonna go get sushi a few days ago and I was really sad because I couldn't do that. So like, this is a life lately vlog, so this is me being honest. I started breaking down in the car because I couldn't get sushi, like, and this sounds like really sad, but like, honestly, it's just been hard. Like if you're um, a young adult moving to another state or anyone, any age moving to another state or thinking about it, it is a great experience. It's really great. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful experience and everything like that. And I love it so much. Like I wouldn't change it for the world because I know for a fact financially, me and Tyrant are doing so much better down here than we were ever doing in Connecticut. And at the end of the day, I have to make decisions for me and my future with him and our future children and what's best. And you know, and I hope in a few years, like maybe three or so, we can have kids. And so really taking these next three years of our marriage, that's going to happen. And focusing on our finances, focusing on living for us and stuff before we really bring a child into that is what we really want to do. And we just didn't see that happening in the state of Connecticut. Like we, and I think because of the pandemic, mostly like Connecticut just became really overpriced. It was really hard to start off at a young age. Like if you weren't already settled, it was really hard to be settled. And like even renting a decent apartment in Connecticut became, like where we lived at least became really expensive. And we knew we wanted to be in a state where we can really build and grow and 
Tyron's business could take off in somewhere that had like popular popularized um, taking care of your body in a sense of like recovery and everything like that. So I was really emotional with that. I've been really emotional with like moving and like losing out and things. Like I used to train with my group class and I miss them so much. So if any of you guys are watching this, I miss you. <laughs> Um, and seeing them train, they're all doing so well, and it brings me so much joy to see transformations by them. And I am a person that needs structure, like, and so I've been a little sad, like, watching them, um, do all this fitness stuff and, like, really get it going and missing, like, waking up at 6, 7 a.m. to be with all of them and be with the environment and, like, my old trainer, he was so great, so it's just, like, leave the guy outside working. I've been having an emotional time the past month. Um, I've been really lonely um, in the sense of like, I haven't made any like friends here obviously. I just We just moved at like the end of September, beginning of October. Like late Fridays and he picked up some more hours and stuff. So it's just me and Harley and it's just been rough. So today I kind of had a mental breakdown and started bawling, like started crying um in the car because i just wasn't able to get sushi because it was taking too long and i only had a certain amount of time on my break so i just went home and went back to work um and i just wanted to do that like that's what i wanted to do it reminds me of home sushi and wine and like watching a good movie i don't know it was just something in my head that i had set for myself while tyron was away knowing that i would feel a little bit lonelier anyways so that being said tyron's my best friend so i really don't mind hanging out with him it's just now when he he works so much sometimes or he works a lot on the weekends too like he doesn't have a nine to five schedule like me um you know on the weekends he's not accessible all the time when i have a lot of time off and then i work during the week and there's no social interaction then because we're like busy and then i like we're gonna prioritize going out and stuff a little bit more like even for dinner and date nights and stuff but just my spiel. I love North Carolina. I wouldn't change it for the world. I love it already and I barely go anywhere and I really like it. I just wish I could move everything that I had in Connecticut here. Like I wish I could move my friends and my family. I wish I could move my like atmospheres that I had like things and I know eventually like, I'll create those atmospheres and get more involved and meet more people especially once it's summer because it's cold. A lot of people stay in right now and so I know I'm gonna be okay. But um, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's rough. And that's how life has been lately the past few months. So it's been an adjustment. But I give props to all the people who move for the bad, for them and for their partners and stuff. Because I knew it wasn't going to be easy. So I'm not surprised that I have these emotions. And I'm not going to hide them. I'm not going to, like, choke them down. Like, sometimes I get really sad being away from Connecticut. He had to use the bathroom. So... Yeah, we got Domino's. We've just been chilling, watching Jurassic Park. I'm about to watch them on YouTube because some of my favorite YouTubers have uploaded. But before I forget, because I'm ending this vlog today, I need to show you guys the rest of the home decor updates. Um, so with the living room, I really wanted to focus on our bathroom upstairs because we did move our bedroom if you had watched our home tour we did my home tour vlog when we moved originally moved to nc we had moved our bedroom to upstairs in the bigger guest bedroom this is laundry i need to fold <laughs> so a few things in the bedroom a nightstand right now it's like these iron nightstands from ikea they're like little trays and stuff just really industrial vibes and i really liked it and they were very inexpensive from ikea so i'll link them below this is what we have going on. It's really not organized how it was when I first did it, but this is what we got going on right now. Iron just has his over here. They're really, um, they're great. I really do like them because honestly, the only thing is that we can't really fit a lamp on them, but we can if I move some stuff away. So once I find like lamps, like really small, cute lamps that I want, I'm not gonna rush the lamp part, but once we do find that, I will get lamps and then switch around both of our nightstands. Probably just the plant and lamps and that's it. Instead of the two candles on each side, if you notice that. So that's something we did, because actually like sleeping with no nightstand is actually really annoying, because I drink a lot of water at night. My throat gets dry. I don't like having my phone on the floor. It's just not it, so. The bathroom upstairs, it was the smaller bathroom. Like, still spacious enough for two people, um, and it has still like a lot of, 
if you can see like a lot of storage love eucalyptus in the shower i just needed a fresher one though because this one's pretty dry but it's still pretty cute anyways um it has like a lot of storage and stuff so like we didn't need like a caddy which i really don't like sometimes because they fall and they get annoying um so we still have a lot of stuff like a lot of space in the shower which is really great so nothing wrong with that what was the problem was how small this um space and storage was i again don't like a lot of stuff on it but then all we had was this and then i don't want to get an over the head um bathroom like organizer or whatever you call it storage thing because i love that this bathroom has like a little window because in the morning the sun is really bright it's just nice and i want it for this summer like i really do like seasonal depression seasonal vibes like in the winter i'm just like more lazy but yeah, so that's what we got going on. So Tyron and, mostly Tyron, but me, I picked these out. We installed floating shelves in the bathroom and the door still opens like basically all the way. So we still have a lot of room to get in. And this helps so much because a lot of this stuff was like on this little sink and it was so cluttered. And then also a lot of it was underneath, which was so annoying like to go under here to keep doing. It was just so frustrating. So we got these love them install he installed them i just helped him make sure they were lined up and stuff like that and so here i have all my skincare stuff sorry it's a little lighter for the candle up here and then i still have these containers where i have all my cotton stuff and this is all skincare and then there's a little more stuff up there that just doesn't need to be there and then i have a cute little candle here and it's just such a better vibe me like not matching my sweater and it's just this is hot mess i'm hot mess okay I hardly ate a remote, so we went to go get sushi, left him out for 25 minutes, if most. By the time we got back, he ate the TV remote, the Roku TV remote, he ate it. My man is tripping. We're gonna chill for the rest of the day, edit. Um, I am planning some wedding stuff, but I think I'm gonna do the wedding content or wedding updates in the next vlog, because right now, all I have going on is the zola stuff so we are gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this life lately of me just random stuff happening um please let me know in the comments below um and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye oh,